just by giving 30 minutes every day, you can get rid of all the problems of your planets because we are perfect, right? The only problem is in our planets. There's no problem in us. We only have to deal with the planets. So how to fix the problems that the planets are bringing for us? Planets have no other job, right? <laughs> because we are perfect, the only problem is our planets are troubling us, all right? So this is not for us. This is nothing to do with us. This is only for your planets, all the nine planets, right? If you chant the Vishnu Sastanam every day, I have a lot of videos on the Vishnu Sastanam. Recently, I made a video on the Dashavatara Stotra and also years back, I made the same video on Kanchi Puram. And today is on Vishnu Sastanam. If you do the Vishnu Sastanam every day, I will go into details of what it is. You can find it in this playlist from the first video. So I won't waste time explaining that now. But in case you have some problems with your planets, <laughs> then you can always do this and there are 10 benefits which you will have astrologically, all right? So, the first benefit that you get from chanting the Vishnu Sasaram, provided you do it daily, <laughs> is you get mental clarity and focus, which means your mercury will improve, right? So, it will improve your intellectual capacity, no, it will improve your communication skills, it will improve your analytical thinking, it will make your sense of logic and rationality and reasoning very strong, right? So you will be able to get rid of confusion, indecision, and you will have a sharp and a clear mind, which is very important today because we are being bombarded with so many options, so many things, so many projects, so many people, so many ideas, so many political parties. <laughs> that it becomes very confusing for us to decide. Where should we go? So if you chant the Vishnu Sastanam every day, you will have extreme clarity and you will see this. People will tell you that you are a very clear individual. You, your goals, thoughts, processes and your ideals are very clear and you will be respected in society. All right. Number two, it will reduce your stress and provide you emotional stability, which means it will help you improve your mood, right? Because this will promote emotional balance and, you know, mental peace. If your mind is disturbed, if you are having, you know, anxiety, you have emotional ups and downs, you know, you, you are not calm, you get agitated very easily, you know, your mind is not composed. If you are not like a sthita pragya, as Lord Krishna says in the Gita, Right? One who is equipoised and balanced, only that person can be happy. But Krishna says this is the beginning of happiness. This is not the end. So basically, many times you may think, oh, why am I not happy in life? Why am I not peaceful rather? Okay. Happiness is one step ahead of peacefulness. But even to be peaceful, you you have to be uh, you have to be like a sthita pragya, okay? And you can attain that state by chanting the Vishnu Sasram and thereby improving your moon every day. All right. Number three, you can enhance your Jupiter by gaining more spiritual growth and wisdom and connection. So this will encourage you to get more spiritual knowledge and get connection with the gurus of your uh, parampara that you are inspired by. And it will give you higher learning. So this is uh, this will grant you spiritual elevation, your consciousness will be pulled up to the higher realms from Tamogun, Rajogun and even Sattvagun, all right, it will, you will go to Shuddha Sattva gradually, okay, so therefore it will help you strengthen your connections to the divine energies, it will foster spiritual development and inner peace, but at a spiritual level, not just superficially but peaceful, all right, it will, it will make you peaceful and help you connect to the divine, very important. Then, your intellectual capacity will increase okay so the point number one was your mental clarity will improve so point number one was your confusions will be dispelled but just not having confusions is not good enough right so this is another benefit of uh salam that your mercury will not just be good it will be excellent okay so it will improve your memory comprehension your cognitive focus you will know what to do, uh, when to do your <laughs> mathematical ability, your 
ability to have a proper foresight about things, about people. You will be able to know who is your well-wisher, who is not. Okay, you will get this power of intuition very strong. It will help you to make uh, good decisions in your profession. It will help you, you know, um, with uh, academic and professional success also. It will give you a very strong intellect, okay? So intellectual benefits are like way beyond uh, imagination. If you do this daily, then it will help you work hard. And guess what? Which planet makes you work hard? It is Saturn, right? This Vishnu Sassalam will promote discipline, patience and perseverance in your life. If you do this daily, because doing that daily itself shows you are very disciplined, right? So it may or may not elevate, elevate you know, like... Uh, hardships and uh, problems, it may not elevate, elevate uh, problems in your life, but it will ensure that you make the best use of a bad bargain, okay? Which means whatever is there in your life, you will try your best to use it to your best capacity with discipline, with proper structure and proper understanding. This is very important and this will give you a lot of stability in your life, irrespective of the ups and downs, okay? Number six, it will improve your Rahu by protecting you from negative energies. You know, if you have Nazar Dosh, Evil Eye and all this, you know, if somebody is doing black magic against you, these all problems will be gone because now you will be injected through the power of Ram Nam and this will benefit you immensely, okay? So this will protect you from negative influences and unexpected adversaries. Very, very, very important. It will give you clarity, focus, it will reduce your fears, illusion, delusions, and hallucinations that are caused by Rao. All right, very, very, very important. So this means this will also improve your eighth house and your twelfth house. Okay, these two houses are very important. Number seven, it will improve your Surya by improving your health and longevity and vitality in general. So this will help you increase your vitality, your overall, because you will eat the right kind of foods. You know, if you you will realize if you chant the Vishnu Sastram every day, you will naturally become a vegetarian. Or very soon, you will your body will not be able to tolerate meat. It will throw out meat, fish, and eggs from your body. No, uh, far away. You, your tongue will not be able to tolerate it. Okay. Eventually, you will also become onion and garlic. This will happen within like. Uh, one to three months, you know, if you are doing it daily, it can happen in seven days. Okay, remember, Thuluva Maharaj, when he was uh, doing the mantra, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, in seven days, he could see the denizens of the heavenly planets, okay? And in six months, he, he saw Vishnu himself, all right? So therefore, this mantra is very powerful. So if you do it properly, within seven days, your meat will be out of your list and you will never look back on meat for the rest of your life, okay? So therefore, you will get good habits, you know, your discipline will increase, you will be able to get up early in the morning, do Surya Namaskar, and you know, it will improve your health issues, and it will uh, give you more physical strength, immunity, and it will boost your metabolism, right? Because you make the right decisions. Essentially, that's a byproduct, right, of making good decisions. Number eight, it will improve your Ketu by giving you karmic cleansing. So it will it will create it will clear your tamogun rajogun and also your ahankar which comes from satogun <laughs> what kind of ahankar comes from satogun it's like you know oh i'm a very good person it's also a kind of ahankar it's called satvik ahankar where you think you are a very nice person maybe you are but to be proud because you are nice is also not nice right <laughs> so that's that's the problem with a good good ketu. You can, you can be very proud that you know everything is uh, you you are the best person. Not in an arrogant sense, but still you have that looking savar. So this will uh, encourage you to look towards spiritual perfection, and it will make you very detached. A good ketu will make you very detached from your spiritual material pursuits. So which means you will work, but without obsessing about the results. Okay, so. This will help you overcoming, you know, past kar bad karmas and sins and, you know, it will pave off the way for spiritual liberation. But there's a disclaimer. This is one of the 10 offenses against the holy name. You chant the holy name by expecting uh, that it will counter your sins. Okay, so this is not good. So if you have unknowingly committed some sins and then you are having a prayerful mood when you chant the Vishnu Sasnam every day, 
then it's a different thing. But if you are doing nonsense every day and next morning you are chanting Vishnu Sasanam, then this will be offensive. This will make you, uh, this will create, uh, this will make you fall down in your spiritual life. Don't do that, okay? But during this chanting, you can always pray to Lord Vishnu to grant you freedom from your sins. Okay, this is very important. Now, it can give you supreme intuition and wisdom. So, Jupiter and Moon, this will improve. This will improve drastically. So, as I said before, you will understand automatically who is your well wisher and not, right? So, this will help you align with your higher consciousness. Even before somebody speaks something, you will know, oh, maybe this person has a problem in their marriage. Maybe this person has a problem in their finances. Or maybe this person's health is not good, okay? So, people, people will be shocked and astonished and they'll be spellbound by your intuition and, you know, your abilities, you know, and especially if you are an astrologer or you plan to become one. Oh boy, this is very powerful because even without using astrology, without using Nimitta, even the moment you see the request, request for a consultation via the email, you just know it what it is, okay? You will, you will exactly know Who's this client? What 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 is the client going to ask you? All right, so you'll have super intuition, and last but not the least, your bhakti, your devotion will improve. It will increase supremely. Okay, and this will increase your Venus because Venus gets exalted, as you know, in the sign of Pisces, which is you know the sign of Mukti. It's like liberation, emancipation. It's like the highest of all evolved signs, and therefore. This will help you to be more creative, be more artistic and be more devoted to things, okay? So this will help you to cultivate qualities like humility, compassion, devotion and it will enhance your material and spiritual uh, relationships. So therefore you will become a people's magnet and everybody will want to be with you because you will become a very genuine person, you will become a very sincere person, you will become everybody's well-wisher. Like Yudhishthir Maharaj, he is known as Ajata Shatru, which means he has no enemies in the heart, right? And Krishna also says this to Arjuna, that one of the qualities of a great soul is he does not harbor animosity or hatred against anybody in their heart. Externally, of course, you might have to fight with demons and enemies. Nothing wrong with that as Arjuna fought against the Kauravas and he was victorious with the blessings of Lord Krishna. But internally you do not harbor hatred against anybody. And the moment people realize that you are a true well-wisher, you can guide others because you have no envy, you have no hatred, you are not looking to exploit them, then you will become a man of character and your glories, your name and fame will spread in the three worlds, all right? In the entire 14 planetary systems, you will be known as a very great personality and you will live a life of excellence and at the end of your life, if you chant this every day, you will remember Vishnu and as Krishna says in the Gita, Antakale Chamameva Smaran Muktakaleva, right? So he says, whatever state of mind you remember at the end of your life, like that state you shall attain without fail, right? Antakale Narayana Smriti, as the scripture says, so you will go back to the spiritual world of Vaikuntha Loka, depending on your consciousness, and you will attain spiritual perfection. That is the 11th and the last and the most amazing of all, right? So if you are not chanting this, then please chant this. You will find uh, the videos in this playlist. And you will be amazed to see the benefits. I am giving you a challenge. Just do it for 7 days and you will get rid of non-vegetarian food. Just in 7 days. Not 17, not 70, not 700. 7 days open challenge. Just try this. And meat is out of your dictionary. <laughs> Alright, thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new. And share it with somebody who is having problems with their planets. Not with themselves. <laughs> and for personalized horoscope consultations you can always go to my website Vishnu is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him for sure and if you have still not found him please read the Vishnu Sasanam and then you will find him maybe in 7 days <laughs> alright please take care Jai Shri Vishnu Jai Siaram Jai Shri Krishna Jai Jagannath